Good day, students. In this clip, we're going to be going over um, some common mistakes that students make when um, solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. And also, we'll go over strategies as to how to avoid uh, making these mistakes. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at an example problem. So for this problem, you are to solve, solve the given um, equation using the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula, all right? So um, the equation on the consideration is 2x squared minus 3x equals negative 7. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to um, solve it incorrectly. Um, making the common mistakes that most students make when um, solving using the quadratic formula. All right, so let's leave, uh, name this incorrect solution. I'll solve it completely first, and I'll see if you can um, identify the mistakes that I'm making um, during the whole problem solving process. After solving it correctly, we're going to go over the common mistakes and solve the same problem correctly on the right side of, of um, this um, page, okay? So incorrect solution. So um, to solve this, I'm going to say, I'm going to let a be 2, b equals negative 3, and c equals negative 7. And then I'll write down my quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. All right. Now I'm going to plug in my a, b, and c into my equation. So I have x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared minus 4a and c. All right. And that uh, over 2a. Um, we know a is 2, so it's going to be over 2 times 2. All right, let's go ahead and uh, simplify the radicand. We'll have um, x is negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared is 9. And then we have minus 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 7 is uh, 56 over 4. And then this becomes um, negative 3 plus or minus. If you subtract this, you get um, minus negative 47. The square root of negative 47 over 4. And then this becomes negative 3 plus or minus i root 47 divided by 4. All right. So this is my incorrect solution to the quadratic equation that I, I um, have initially. So the question is, did you see the mistakes common mistakes that I made um, in my problem solving process. So let me pause for a second. Have you examined the whole um, solution and see if you can identify the mistakes that I made. All right, now let's um, go over the correct solution. So let's write this down. We're going to solve it on the right side. Correct solution. Now, first thing you want to um, keep in mind when solving the um, quadratic equations using the quadratic formula is the form that you're working with, okay? Do you have it in the standard form? So let's write it down. Error number one is the uh, form. You notice when I was looking for a, b, and c in this incorrect solution, the equation is not yet in standard form, so that results in an inaccurate c. All right, so before ever you start using the quadratic formula, you have to write the equation in standard form. So if I do that, I'm going to have 2x squared minus 3x, add 7 to both sides, plus 7 equals 0. So standard form requires that um, the degrees be written in descending order, and it must be equal to 0, starting from 2, 1, 0. So using the standard form, I will have my a as 2, b as negative 3, 
and then my C is going to be positive 7. All right? Now, um, next error has to do with the, an incorrect formula. Incorrect formula. The whole idea of the quadratic formula is to be able to use that powerful formula to accurately solve a quadratic equation. But if your formula is flawed, then you have a big problem. So if you take a look at this formula that I have here, is this the correct quadratic formula? And the answer is no. If you notice, I divided only the radical piece, the square root of the discriminant by 2a. But the correct formula is as follows. The correct formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. The entire expression is divided by 2a, okay? So most students make the mistake either in the formula or in the application. Instead of dividing the entire um, numerator expression by 2a, they divide only the radical component. All right, so that's inaccurate. So error, common mistake number two is writing down an incorrect formula. So you have to make sure your formula is correct. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, apply our correct a, b, and c to um, this formula. So we're going to have x equals um, negative, negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, negative 3 squared, minus 4ac um, divided by 2a. So this entire thing divided by 2a. So our a is 2, which is 2 times 2. Now, do you see the next mistake that I made? Another mistake that, um, common mistake that's made is, um, uh, error number three is multiple, is uh, the sign error. Okay, sign error. It's very easy to forget your minuses when making use of the quadratic formula. I made two sign errors in this problem. I will go over the first one. So you notice that b is negative 3. The formula says negative b. So instead of negative 3 here, I was supposed to do negative the negative negative 3. All right? So please be careful with the signs. Do not drop your negatives under any circumstances. You have to keep the negative, the sign that's with the number, when you're substituting them for your uh, place values in the uh, quadratic formula. All right, so the correct application here is supposed to be minus negative 3. Okay, so that's that. And then to simplify this piece, we're going to have positive 3 plus or minus the square root <coughs> of 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 4 times 2 is 8 times 7, 56 over 2a. 2a is simply 2 times 2, which is 4. Now, if you take a look at this incorrect solution, I made another sign error. Can you see what the sign error is? You see there's a minus here, and there's another minus here. This is another big mistake most students make, is instead of multiplying these signs correct, um, correctly, they drop off the negatives associated either with the a or the C, and then just keep it like this. So this ideally should be a plus if I did the wrong process correctly, okay? So here, I multiplied minus, plus, plus, I have a minus here, all right? So please be careful when you're multiplying your signs to make sure that it's done correctly. Okay, so now what do we have? We're gonna have, um, simplify that, we'll have three plus or minus the square root of negative 47 divided by 4 and then our final answer is going to be 3 plus or minus i root 47 over 4 and this is your correct um, solution when you accurately apply the quadratic formula okay so to recap again when you're using the quadratic formula, do not forget to use the right form, the right form, namely the standard form, set it equal to zero, and have the, the degree of the terms in the same order. Make sure the formula is correct. Make sure you divide the entire 
expression by 2a. And then sign errors, when you're making substitutions, do not drop off any minuses. Keep them with you. And when you're simplifying the radicands, uh, multiplying terms, don't forget to drop, don't make any errors with your signs. Like when you square this, make sure it becomes a positive, and then you multiply the signs correctly, okay? So if you apply those, um, watch out for these errors, um, you should be successful in implementing the quadratic formula. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation, and feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool clips such as this. And please post a comment to let us know what you think about this presentation. More clips can be found on mapcodeserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Wonderful day.